Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Andersen, for your presentation, and uh, thank you for uh, this uh, conference in uh, Denmark and to accept to organize this conference, which is the fifth one of the Damien program. Uh, the first one were in Paris, in Madrid, in Osaka, and this one will be not really the last one because uh, we plan to organize something in California. So I just want to present quickly what is the Damien program, even if, if it is the last year of this program. Mm -hmm. This Damien program be began in uh, four years ago, and uh, it's okay. Uh, it's focused on the question of uh, uh, the depreciation of silver. You know that at the end of the 19th century, uh, the production of silver increased, and uh, the consequences was the disappearance of bimetallist, bimetallist system for a monometallist system. So we decided to try to concentrate different researches and to support them in order to understand exactly what was at this moment and what were the consequences of this uh, uh, evolution. So we get some support from various support. We don't need, in fact, for human sciences, a lot of support, but we need to add different small supports. We added some support from different sources. I mean, from uh, Agence Nationale de la Recherche, but also from our LabEx, that is a kind of support for inside the uh, Economal Supérieur, like EDEX and the Economal Supérieur, and we have some support from the CNRS. Together, all this support gave us the possibility to organize different meetings, conferences, publication, travel, and uh, the possibility to publish everything. At the beginning, we decided to have some axes. One of them was publication of the main documents, republication, to collect them, to find them, and to give uh, the possibility to everybody to see them, to work on them. It's important to give the possibility to our colleagues to continue to work after the end of the program. We wanted to also to publish some new sources from archives, from new documents, uh, perhaps already published and in the 19th century, but uh, forgotten or lost for m many parts of them. We decided also to organize conferences, video presentation, website in order to disseminate what we are doing and to give to the, to give the possibility to everyone to see what, what, what was in progress and what we are doing, what you are doing. So we have a lot of small conferences in different parts of the world and uh, we organize everything around, uh, with a website that is uh, including, this website is including PDF, video and everything. So, Main, quick, quickly, uh, we decided to have a, a kind of a republication of the main document about international monetary conferences, because these documents were the most important uh, analysis of the situation in the 19th century, but also to add some specific and national publication to, uh, devoted to the main analysis of the situation in different countries, uh, in, in Europe, but outside Europe. We organized all this publication, and uh, a lot of books have been published during this period. Uh, in Japan, or concerning Japan, concerning Europe, concerning Great Britain, concerning India, uh, China, of course, and Hong Kong, that is uh, at this moment. The website, the video of China. All the conferences are video recorded. Uh, all of them are uh, available on the website of the conference. All of them can be seen from everywhere. Just, uh, thanks, Michael. Okay. All these conferences give point of view. Uh, PowerPoint, and can be a short presentation of all the publications that have been published. So, uh, in four years, uh, we have published 56 volumes, 52 video conferences were on the net. So, we, we can conclude and uh, but this Damin program was productive, and uh, we can consider that it is more or less a success. What we want to do after is to continue. Uh, during this program and during this year, we have been able to understand the importance of globalization. Depreciation of silver is not a European problem, it's not an Asian problem, it's not a specific problem, it's a global problem. 
and depreciation of silver, which um, uh, organized the collapse of the bimetallic system, created a, a new monetary order. And this new monetary order was the first one to be completely globalized. To work on the 19th century, to work on monetary unions, it is also to understand a little bit more the situation with the actual monetary unions, and specifically Euro. So one of the ideas we have is to try to continue to make some analysis of what happened during the previous centuries in order to, to examine and to show exactly what was the main mistakes or the main difficulties. And these difficulties, to see if there are, for some of them, the same during the Euro and the, uh, during the, for the Euro period. So we try to continue. We apply with Michael uh, to different uh, goals. Uh, we will have the replies at the end of the year, I think, in October. So if we succeed, if we get this grant, we will continue and we will meet them, you uh, very soon. So thank you very much, Michael, for this organization. Thank you for everything. Thank you for coming. Thank you to endure my mails asking for deadline, text, and so on. But uh, you know, now the proceedings are more or less ready. They will be published in the uh, beginning of July in order to be presented in the Kyoto World Economic History Conferences, uh, Conference and in the Taormina Numismatic Conference. I think it's very important each time to have quickly the proceedings because it's work in progress and we have to show to everybody what we are doing. So thank you for coming. Michael, I think you have some words to say and have a good work. <laughs>